Gonna build a mountain from a little hill. Hey guys, and thank you so much for tuning in to my channel. My name is The Lady Designer, and we're back with another Kawali Zoo episode. I, I am joined by the awesome Silver Red and Rudy Rankamal. How are you guys doing? I'm fine. <laughs> <laughs> so Tired. To, to add the enthusiastic, I'm fine. I'm actually, I'm actually <laughs> doing good, I must say. Yeah, so... You're always doing good. <laughs> it's my time, you know, it's my time. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Uh, Mike, unfortunately, couldn't be here. He had like a lot of stuff to do for work. He's, he's got actual work. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Who am I to say anything about someone being absent, right? <laughs> oh, man, yeah. Uh, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. I'm just struggling a little bit with my health the last few days, and I'm trying to not make that affect my own video but uh, it's always so late when you go <laughs> you record <laughs> yeah <It's laughs> i was looking at your video rudy and i was like one hour <laughs> i was actually i was already in bed and i was so happy <laughs> that i wasn't there just because it's like super late like obviously i would love to be there but <laughs> Yeah. I just can't handle it. I it's don't know how you do it either. My my sleeping <laughs> schedule has become so <laughs> so early now, like a normal person almost, which feels weird. I don't know how you manage to stay this awake at so, yeah, this such is... late times. <laughs> This is what I just said. Like, I, I, I think I just gave up on it, okay? So I just accepted it and my biorhythm did too. Yeah, but we have, to, like, we have to adapt to yeah, it. It's like, no, that's not even true. Mike is also kind of a delayed true. person. No, Mike is not <laughs> yeah, Mike delayed is in person. A different time Only zone. if he forgot. Yeah. <laughs> it's like like 4 p.m. for him or something. Yep. Yeah. Like, just... for, for those who are watching, if you have no idea, when, when it's up to Rudy, we always record like... 11 30 p.m well that yep. is what we always and agreed then on. imagine doing a recording of one hour maybe one and a half hour if it's and this is about the time of day when rudy is starting to wake up like he's starting to yeah. become like oh yeah yeah i'm getting into my day <laughs> you know it would be funny if i would disagree now but it's, unfortunately it's completely true uh, yes. but to my to my excuse so here's the real story why this is the case and this is not being funny or whatever it really is um kind of a souvenir from my uni time so i don't know if, i don't know who you, of you guys know that but i studied uh, dual studies for like over six and a half years so i did my mm -hmm. bachelor and masters uh, next to work and since i always kind of followed the regulation of i want to be seen as a full employee i didn't do less hours i completely studied on the weekend um wow. so i only had uni at like saturday and sunday sometimes um and on friday evenings and then mm -hmm. i moved into masters and masters was kind of a block situation where i spent all my yearly um or annual holiday on going to berlin bank then and so as you work in an agency which is also pretty late in general um you come home like whatever 7 p.m and then you know you just want to have some time in the evening with the wife and you know with some friends and stuff and then obviously to get to learn some stuff and to study actually <laughs> there is not that much time when the others are awake so you do it when the others are not awake and yeah, that's how I uh, actually... Yeah, that's basically what you're doing because you're always like recording in the middle of the I know, night. <laughs> because this kind of habit was created back then because I always needed to. Like, it's not that I wanted at the beginning. It's not like that I had the super nice idea to go to my desk at like 11.30pm <laughs> <laughs> to kind of do studies on intercultural competencies, you know? That was not, uh -huh. not the idea, you know? But I had to. <laughs> and uh, yeah, so this is how it created. And honestly, um, since YouTube really... Kind kind of slided into this whole situation while I was finishing my studies. Yeah, I just kind of continued and that's why. That's insane. <laughs> I have no idea how you survived wow. all of that. Right now I'm doing a master's where actually a lot of my classmates are in the same situation. It's set up in a sense where people who do full-time work can also do it. So we have classes in the evening and in the weekend. I have no idea how my teammates even managed to make their way through life, let alone you with your YouTube channel. That's in, that's absolutely insane. That's insane. Honestly, I I'm don't know. super jealous. I don't know. I'm fairly I, jealous. I, I cannot <laughs> tell you. I do want to say though that I'm the lack of sport at the make, at the moment makes it a bit harder. I really mm -hmm. feel that I'm lacking this little bit of exercise every now and then. I do go for runs and stuff, but it's not the same. You know, being being on a mm -hmm. pitch with uh, other people that force you to do more is is kind of different. You cannot yeah. kind of do this with runs only. But anyways, 
Yeah, that, no, but I can't imagine. Like, I was just starting to get back into the gym before everything started. And oh, yeah. uh, <laughs> then the outbreak came. And I was like, oh, no, because I just, I really just have to go, like, to a place to really do the exercises. Mm-hmm. I, I tried to do it at home, but it's just, I don't know, it's so much harder. Yeah, it mm-hmm. is. Um, yeah. But yeah, now even like like people hope that the, the gym will open again with like a lot of uh, restrictions with like one and a half meter and stuff. But even then, I just don't dare to because I'm just too <laughs> scared to. <laughs> so yeah, I don't know if that is going to happen if I uh, dare to go back to the gym again. Yeah, I, for I also a don't while. know if, if gym will be the best place <laughs> either way. I mean, no, you know, it's just it's already and, like you know. yeah, exactly. I I don't really uh, think that I would dare to. I mean, <laughs> I think, you know, it, it would be fine if you would know about the actual way of how the virus is spread. If you would say like, hey, it's not about sweat and stuff anyway, so people have to cover you. It's kind of okay, you know, if we could deal with that. But we still don't know it, so why mm-hmm. would you go that mm-hmm. risk? I don't see that. Yeah. yeah true exactly so um because people are listening to us for like a few minutes now and i didn't say a word about what i'm doing here good point what are you doing <laughs> yeah <laughs> what am i doing yeah really you've already seen it all unfortunately <laughs> i didn't do oh. anything extra today i just couldn't uh but yeah so if it's all up to you with your first reaction mm. Other than uh, that I said that I wanted to add uh, the Jaguar, I <laughs> honestly, I made already two videos Oh, so this is going to be a tunnel two Jaguars. for the Jaguar. Yeah, ah. this is a tiger tunnel. Oh, a tiger tunnel. And it's, uh, yeah, the Siberian tiger I added since Rudy already added the Bengal tiger. Mm-hmm. My bad, yeah. I, I don't know. I just felt like this is also more suiting for a tiger since you see this a lot for tigers. There is in a zoo because like I did a community wall post with asking people like, do you know any zoo with like uh, crossovers or, or like tunnels or whatever, uh, bridges? And I got like a lot of different examples. Many of them are tiger trials mm-hmm. or tiger crossways. So I, I don't know. It just felt more like I should add a t- Siberian tiger, even though I don't know. Maybe the people can tell me in the comments if you have seen like the end of the video where I show you guys around. If you guys maybe feel that it also could suit Jaguar, but me and Rudy were a bit like meh. I think it fits more for the Siberian tiger, right? Yeah, mm-hmm. I, I just want to add that, for example, we had a little talk about this um, because the Jaguar, as awesome as it is, also has the issue that is kind of small, but yet it needs a whole freaking lot of space. So it needs the same amount of space. Exactly. So it, you kind of go into the problem that everything you build is a little bit out of proportion. It's a little bit out of scale because it, it seems to be right. But then again, you put the Jaguar in and, and like, at least I'm always like, damn, it's so small. It's like, it's so small. <laughs> um, and I would love to make like a way more compact uh, habitat for Jaguars. So mm-hmm. I think in the future of uh, of this zoo, we might be able to do this. Um, yeah. But I'm, I'm, also, yeah. I'm also feeling that the addition of the Siberian tiger here makes sense. And I, I guess as we talked, Lady and I, uh, we can just imagine for the moment that this might be uh, kind of the equivalent of the Sumatran tiger for the moment being because mm-hmm. obviously we don't mm-hmm. have that one um, yeah but I was still su- definitely but I was still surprised that the Siberian tiger even could withstand these temperatures which is a bit weird but it's actually yeah you were like wait wait way too warm in Koali and I was like well it says like I think the max was 22 degrees so it's yeah obviously it's like 37 degrees right now so it's still a little bit too warm. But we can we can add some coolers, but it's not like they have to like have very cold areas. You can obviously make like a snowy area for them, but you don't have to. Mm. So that's why I was like, okay, so it's like on the edge of Chocolate Mountain, so I think it fits. It's like right away to the path to the giant panda habitat. It goes into the highlands where we have animals that are actually living in the more cold areas anyway, so yeah. Yeah, yeah, exactly. So for those who are wondering, because I did like make a whole list of all the suggestions I got for the tiger overpasses, so I'm gonna do uh, one for uh, City Zoo 2, which I'm probably going to inspire by the Jacksonville zoo tiger trial and this specific tiger trial i used like a bit of inspiration of both the jackson zoo but also the cleveland zoo tiger overpass 
and also together uh, with, I'm just looking at all the zoos, Tulsa Zoo. So I guess some people might find that interesting because some of you probably may know these kind of zoos. So it's a little bit of a combination of the Tulsa Zoo and the, um, what, what, what did I say? The Cleveland Zoo. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so I use both for inspiration for that. But yeah, it works really nice, I have to say. Like, it's really nice to have those glass pieces to create that, um, yeah, to create a s very small, like all the overpasses I have seen so far at other uh, YouTubers are mostly like just the wall sizes. Yeah and not like smaller like this would potentially also be able still for a keeper to walk through but i made a doorway underneath the bridge so the keeper is using the doorway and the tigers are really using this overpass so i think that's more cool but potentially the keepers could also walk through the overpass if needed and i know that <laughs> Many people always ask me, like, can you upload this to the workshop? So yes, in this case, I will be uploading it to the workshop. Not the habitat, but just the tiger overpass. So if you want to use it for your own zoo, I will link it in the description down below for the people that want to use it. I don't often upload anything beforehand, but I think this is just a very cool thing mm -hmm. for people to use. And you can create your own style maybe from it if you want to change it a little bit. So just so you guys know that it's going to be in the workshop if you guys want to use it. So yeah. That's really cool. And thanks to Rudy, I was like, I want to do something with an underwater viewer viewing gallery because there were like a lot of zoos if you uh because i was googling the zoos with like all these ideas of these overpasses and bridges and like a lot of zoos have like these underwater viewing galleries for the tigers right mm -hmm. so i thought that would be cool to add somewhere over here so it really was helping me with like where to put it i had like a little bit of a blackout yesterday <laughs> So Rudy, thank you again so much for your help. You're welcome. It's totally fine. You can always abuse me for my, my creative uh, nonsense in my brain. <laughs> oh, <laughs> yes. Helps. And I will. And I will. <laughs> yeah, it's totally fine. Uh, on, that, on that note, though, I just want to add that Lady was worried that we potentially might not be able to talk through that episode and you now literally just explained everything yeah. there like five minutes straight <laughs> i was just about to say <laughs> oh my <laughs> god before we started recording you were all like hmm, i don't know if i'm gonna be able to you know talk about everything you guys are gonna have to jump in i could not jump in i was just like all right this is <laughs> sounds good sounds good well now is your time because now i said everything i wanted to say <laughs> Oh. No, but I, I'm just, yeah, just to be honest, I'm just super tired. So that mm -hmm. it also makes me just worried that I'm like, oh, I just don't know what to say. Oh, you're going pretty strong. I was so, about to say. It's fine. Um, so thanks. how is it when you're now, not now tired? Now it's your turn. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so. Then I'm not in the video, but that's a bit hard with my own channel. <laughs> oh, damn. No, oh, wait, no, you said when you're not yeah, tired. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no, no. <laughs> if I'm too tired. Don't worry. So, <laughs> Sylph, let's, let's hear your opinion on that so far. <laughs> oh, yeah, I think it's really cool. I like the uh, combination of, like, having those glass pieces, which is something that, yeah, I've seen uh, some of the pictures as well from some of those zoos. It looks super cool. But then I like the combination with the more traditional uh, the temple-based ba pieces, which really bring back that theme from the other parts of the zoo as well. Uh, so, yeah, I think that looks really... It's kind of like a weenie, almost. Mm-hmm. <laughs> no, you're Actually, the weenie, the weenie with two king. sausages on it. <laughs> I'm not. No, no, no. <laughs> if anything, if anyone makes weenies, it's you. Yeah, but That's this true. is this is this is a little bit of a weenie. Like it's a, it's an eye catcher for sure. You walk up to that area, and it's definitely something that draws you in and that kind of claims attention for itself. So it's really cool. Yeah, I do hope like maybe uh, well, any one of you guys like. You guys are really good in making like super cool sight lines and stuff. Now I do have like a little bit of a sight line uh, to the uh, giant panda temple, but I am not really sure what to put in front of it. So I, I left it open in the end. I was like, I'm mm -hmm. not just not sure if I want to put down some trees or just some rocks or uh, I'm pretty sure that one of you or maybe just Mike. Yeah, I was about to <laughs> say you're talking to the two of us, but I kind of feel um, like even yeah, if we I'm do plan out some stuff, Mike is Mike. just going to grab it all and just be like, mm, I'm going to shift that just slightly to the other side of the park. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Two minutes <laughs> later. Or delete it. <laughs> Boom. Yeah. <laughs> One thing I do have to say, like creating these overpasses 
there are so many if you look at real life pictures that are just with like the steel fences and stuff mm -hmm. and obviously when it's an overpass and you have a path in planet zoo you can't use the fences at all to raise it up so mm -hmm. that's really unfortunate i actually didn't try that because you have an option that you can uh move underneath oh yeah you can i uh, it, it somehow works I, no. with a little bit of finicky work with the terrain um so you yeah, okay you still need terrain yeah but you can hide it um. you can hide it away because you can make it really thin like really thin like even as thin as the thinnest plank in uh, planet zoo mm. and then it kind of vanishes you just have to place that barrier on there and use that yeah. option with the uh, oh, is it undle going on uh, i don't know how that option is called but the one where you can add the uh, the third one yeah, exactly. I, I know yeah, yeah. So that, but it's yeah. kind of finicky it's a little bit buggy you have to just really trial and error it it does work though i did some overhanging uh, waterfall things with it so it kind of works but it's Hmm, it's really key, interesting uh, yeah just, but anyways i just really would like to have some separate pieces with like chain fence and oh stuff. yeah that would be amazing that you could even yeah. build like some custom atriums and stuff like that out of it oh like, yeah, yeah. And some security stuff would be great on that note frontier if you're listening it would be awesome to have an option to get like kind of i don't know if it was like a netting or if it is chain link or whatever that is not climbable just for the mechanics of the game because sometimes you just want to uh, make like a security um, netting, but the animals now do yeah. use the netting or the kind of the ropes uh, way more for climbing, which is great. But yeah. that means that they can kind of go through walls and roofs and stuff. Mm -hmm. So on that would be awesome too. I had the same with this overpass. Like every every like thin log you see is like a climbable log, and I was like, yeah, well, uh, uh, f it. Uh, I'm just gonna put it down and. Um, and see what will happen like if the animals will be able to escape or not like you you can tell that the uh, siberian tiger is able to climb on it like regarding the traversable area it is able to climb on it but they don't and it's also not that they have like an escape route because if it's an escape route then they would most definitely uh right away go there right mm -hmm. like yeah. if they have any point to escape they in planet zoo they run run for it and they go for it so in this case you would see the uh climbable frames being able to climb on for the tigers but they don't use it so i'm, I'm already happy because i was like yeah well <laughs> we'll see yeah, what, you, how it will go you would get the get the no notification icon that they can escape there yeah exactly and which is not so yeah for everyone that is going to download it from the workshop at least for me it all works fine and i don't have any uh, weird escaping tigers uh, even though it would look like it they would be on top of it or anything it's like i'm happy that it works but i also would really prefer to see some era some items that are not climbable mm -hmm. and also an option to find them because you can also only find climbable items yeah. but not the other way around mm -hmm. yeah exactly yeah. it would also be really cool to have some items that you can attach to scenery that you put inside habitats that uh, prevents animals from climbing them because i think one of the examples that we ran into was for instance uh, the pillar of the lemur habitat outside of the monorail. Mm -hmm. It's these kind of structures that you put inside the habitats, but that you want to prevent the animals from climbing. And obviously, you know, there are some things we can do to try and prevent this, but it would be really cool to see specific pieces for that as well that you can put anywhere because animals can climb on so many things right now. Yeah, true, which is awesome. But yeah, sometimes for what you have in mind. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> makes it yeah, no, hard. it's not a bad thing. Like that's that's like one of the main things that I actually really like about this game. But that's true. it'd be cool yeah. to also like try and prevent that. That's true. It's actually it's at, it's, it's at least not like a game you say like, oh, yeah, you make a habitat with some bushes and some rocks and trees and you're done. Like we have enough creativity to make some really interesting things, even though it obviously comes down to the same thing, creating a habitat or creating a building. But yeah, but even I though still it's... feel that we really have a lot of variation. Yeah, I, in totally, it. I, yeah. I totally agree. I mean, every single habitat can be so different, like completely different. The idea about it can be different. The way you explore uh -huh. it, that the purpose of it even can be. You can make like a house, you can make a dome, you can make a obviously you can make a dome, but you, you can make Yeah, but how many domes did I make? <laughs> and still many? it's still a dome, <laughs> yeah, but it's still I, I a different dome. <laughs> <laughs> 
it's, no but it's i'm just saying like level. if you built one dome it's not like you're done with building domes you can still make another dome mm -hmm. or two domes into each other or three domes into each other or like half a dome you know there are so many things there's so many styles yeah. so that is really cool uh, that roof you, by the way, saw above the uh, underwater viewing gallery. I saw it, Mike. Yes, I did. Thanks to Rudy. <laughs> I was like, just <laughs> he came up I with that idea. Like, grab, grab this from Mike because actually, I think it's a cool reference because Mike used it for the Bengal tiger, so we kind yeah. of used the same viewing option for another tiger. I think that's a kind of cool combination. Um, and on that note, we might also add, so Mike, I guess Mike will be watching this video. So Mike now is... Uh, <laughs> Mike is, is if, always yeah, watching you, videos, watching even now. though he is there. <laughs> <laughs> if you if you want to know, um, there is something we also did for you. <laughs> is it actually Mike's week next week? Yeah. Oh, awesome. Okay. It so, is. Exciting. Uh, <laughs> on, on that note. Um, what will he touch this week? <laughs> oh, God. This is so... It's going to be great. Because we also <laughs> did one thing which we briefly talked about last week um, while we were talking about the waterfalls. And Lady was like, oh, where do I put the water and blah, blah, blah. And then like, hmm, where do we get the water from? And now as we talk, there could be a second river coming from the highlands, which goes to the left hand of the uh, panda, um, well, the, the panda Content. temple. It, it's now yeah. actually the one that would also lead into this habitat. So we did think of that. And uh, so Mike, if you, if you go for that, there you go. <laughs> yeah, I'm not really sure like how you want that water to go. So I only ended up with like putting down a waterfall, but on top of it, it's completely empty for you, Mike. <laughs> You can go crazy with it if you want, but on the, on the other hand, he can just draw it out so I can look at it next week. Like, that's also fine, Mike. I am fine with that. You draw it out with, like, the terrain too or something. <laughs> All good. Just, uh, just let me know, babe. Because sometimes, I remember, was it Sylv that Sylv did, like, uh, some kind of uh, support frames for the monorail? And he was like, oh, no, no. Oh, the yeah, 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 is yeah. Going on my away. last episode, I, <laughs> I got that thing. That. <laughs> and, yep. and then Rudy saved it. So <laughs> thanks, Rudy. Yep. <laughs> you see, <laughs> that's why I'm afraid. Like, oh, yeah, maybe he has a different idea. I'm not going to put in hours of work just for him to like, no. <laughs> uh, so you know what we're going to do? We're going to just jump into the game. And I'm um, uh, just gonna show you guys around, I guess, in life. That would be awesome, If it yeah. works. Yeah, sounds good. For some reason, it uh, should be working fine. Like my City Zoo, I was telling Rudy that my City Zoo episode, I tried to record like a tour in my time, my um, South America dome, and it was just undoable. But for some reason, I can just easily move around in Koali Zoo. So That's I have strange. no idea what that is. Mm. But because Koali Zoo is way bigger, yeah. so I honestly have no idea. I, I think I, I just, as I told you already, lady, I do have a suspicion why this could be. And I'm quite sure it might be on the note of um, the, the, the space in comparison to the amount of pieces. Because it feels like they found a way to make the, the game way better in performance when the pieces are spread over the map. So, for example, in my Yosemite Zoo, which even has more uh, items and more pieces than, for example, Koali, it still has absolutely freaking amazing uh, performance. Uh, and my Sky Gardens is already at the same kind of performance as, for example, uh, yeah, Koali Zoo, because it's all so tight and so dense. So it might be something about how many stuff you have in a dense area. And I mean, your, your domes were like really filled in with uh, foliage and, and pieces and stuff. So it might be that one. Mm. Yeah, it could be. It. But it's it's like only only an idea. Could could be anything else. But um, yeah, I think that would be the most realistic thing. Mm -hmm. Hold on a second. I think Lady's audio stopped working. I guess so, right? I mean, yeah, 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 yeah. If yeah, not, she's gone. yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Lady, we can't hear you. Rip. I mean, if she's still talking, that's fine. I. Uh, what if she doesn't hear us? <laughs> I don't know. We might just want to type into Light the chat. It. But it's gonna be, it's gonna be a good outtake. Uh, actually, where's the chat? Oh, it's back there. <laughs> where? Okay. And okay. There she's gone. gone completely. Okay, she's back. Hello. Hello. Yes. Oh, we can hear you. Could you hear us? Hello. Yeah, we, can, we can you can hear me? You. Can you Hello. hear us? Yeah. Okay, guys. Okay. Here we go. Oh we are yeah. here, and just to give the viewers an idea where we are we have the tortoise habitat of a rudy rankham ride over here 
So we have this empty space still right over here. I'm not really sure there is a staff area down here. And then we have the giant panda habitat on that side. And the overpass and this is what i mentioned like oh it's gonna this specific area i'm not really sure what i should put down here because it's like a lot of terrain so i'm not really sure if i want to ruin any viewing or not so if you guys have any mm -hmm. suggestions for that do let me know but it's i think it's really cool yeah i think the sight line to the the panda temple should definitely remain clear like yeah, that it's exactly. really cool to see the building sort of loom over the towers in front of it yeah right it's really cool yeah. it's like the, the path you're going up here you have a few teases of the panda temple and it actually is from a different angle and now you're approaching you have again another temple where the two towers of the bridge frames it perfectly fine so i think it might just get a little bit of a supporting little planter area down there but not more yeah just like keep yeah it, exactly keep it really open and yeah. some ground but i really love it i really love it it's like this habitat you want to you want to just go through and just see to the left and to the right i really like how it embeds into into the tour that leads up to the yeah. temple because you are actually mm -hmm. on your tour towards the highlands true and it was yeah, like exactly. a very wonky path like <laughs> going really straight up so i tried to make it more of like this zigzag path ah that's more accessible for people uh, <laughs> <laughs> there, <laughs> there we go again there we go have, have, have we talked about it. tapirs yet I just uh, no 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 we <laughs> haven't you want to say anything you want to add a tapir no, no, in no, this no. habitat I <laughs> Uh, we better don't, but we still have some in the... What? No. Oh, oh, it's going to use it. Let's see how that will go. If it's going to do... No, it's doing the exact same oh. thing. <laughs> oh, no. You're kidding. Are you oh, no, I think it's... it's... No, oh, it's no, doing... Never mind. It's, yeah, oh, okay. No. It's going to tease So, us yeah, sometimes Just a teaser. wonky things uh, may happen with... Uh, if you download this, sometimes it goes super smooth and they would just walk from one side to the other side and no biggie and you're like, wow, this is so cool. And sometimes you're like, what are you doing? <laughs> But I mean, these are cats, okay? Yeah, it's so these are true. cats, and I think it's completely realistic because cats are that way. There's there's no way around that. Yeah. The, the moment we return around, they will do normal stuff again. But don't oh, we yeah, dare sure. to look back at them, okay? <laughs> <sighs> I'm just curious because one time I tried to test it, and then all this traversable area was gone, and I was like, why? What happened? So they never used the bridge anymore. But it's all fixed now because I just used an old save again. Uh, but mm -hmm. it's super weird. Uh, I don't know what that happened. So I hope that no one has it issues so because I don't know how to fix it. But it looks super beautiful. They're so, so beautiful. But also yeah, the jaguars. I love I the jaguars, but still, I, I think, I think the tigers fit in well here. I, again, mm -hmm. I really want to add this because we talked about this briefly um, beforehand, but I really think that the color pattern of the Siberian tiger really surprised me in the environment of tropical uh, nature because I really, as I said, I only, always just used it in a winter ex exhibit or whatever. Uh -huh. So now seeing that in comparison, it looks really cool. So both yep. of them decide to just mate in front of us oh. instead of going to the bridge, right? It's 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 <laughs> crazy, right? Like they keep almost. They're doing like it. Yeah, cats. You're quite. like, oh yeah, grab the toy, grab the toy. Yes, yes, no, yes, no. Yeah, it's, it's super <laughs> annoying. Okay, so let's hope and see if they uh, will do it in the end. <laughs> I love the, but I love the views of your different areas here. So really, always these little glimpses into the habitat and the little I really, glimpse. I like it. Well, thank you. Well, this is also an area I really yeah. like. I don't know. You it really did really a really fantastic nice job with the terraforming. It, yeah. The the terraforming and and also texture work is really on spot. Like I I was like really mesmerized by your time lapse of how often you change the elevation in the habitat. <laughs> like I was like moving up and mm -hmm. down and just changing. And the little grass patches of grass, grass also around yeah. the rocks. It's very simple, but it yeah, I well. I just yeah. love doing that. I don't know who said that in the beginning, but since then I always do like the grass and the bushes. Like it, it just I think it it was Mike probably. I'm. I'm pretty sure it was. Yeah. yeah, probably. But I don't know. This is oh, I love this. I love it that the tigers do go through this little temple piece that is just standard in game. And <gasps> is it coming? Yeah, but it's it, it's doing the wonky thing now. 
it's all important, <laughs> man. So I said, can I just say, I, I, I said, it's like it's doing grocery shopping. <laughs> Look at that. It's like going grocery shopping with the car. Oh, that's a, that's a dance move right there. <laughs> yeah, you, I also have one moonwalking from one side to the other side. Like completely from one side to the other da, side. Da, but sometimes, as I said, they just use it like perfect. Oh, yeah, there he goes. Oh no, and now he yeah, turns around. Like this is really cool that it just I I don't know. I may have like doubled some layers and that makes them confused. There's also a lot of poop in mm -hmm. here, so I actually doubt that the keepers are able to get in there. Uh, <laughs> yeah, if the there. keepers can't get in there, the poop accumulation is definitely gonna be a problem. <laughs> okay, so that that's going uh, these to be a thing. Some open areas. <laughs> We still have some open areas in the glass, so some, you know, the smell can go out at least. Yeah. <laughs> but <laughs> just imagine a full, full glass body, and oh god, <laughs> the smell. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> well, at least, oh, 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 there's a, there's one going. Oh, that one is walking oh. normal. So that's cool. That oh. so now we can really see it. Oh, that look looks at that. so look cool. Exactly. Yeah, if they so cool. do it right, it's like. Perfect. And the people actually look at it. Yeah. I love it. The guests were just like staring at it. It's really awesome. And then you have like this site where they come down. <sighs> These are the satisfying. Yeah. Oh yeah. I'm, I'm so much enjoying this now. <laughs> and that's really cool. Yeah. I, I've I, did, just I didn't expect the it view. to work this well. <laughs> if it works, you're like super happy with it. Uh, so we have this mm -hmm. one thing. So we have a keeper's door right over here. So the tigers are not able to fit through this, but the keeper is. So it can at least go from one side to the other side to clean the habitat. It only isn't, isn't able, what, like I said, to clean it right over here. But we also have the stolen mic uh, roof here, which I really like. I really love that. It's gorgeous, this, yeah. This area I did with the Bengal tiger one, so... I, uh, I changed it a little bit, obviously, in the shape because it's way bigger on that side. And then you just go down here and you can sit on these benches right over here. And just enjoy the I mean, you waterfall. can just get there and get a bit of cold breeze and get yeah, a bit of shade. Yeah, that's, that's exactly, yeah, exactly. something, uh, a very good idea of Rudy to steal it. <laughs> to have a nice little shade here. <laughs> <laughs> but also, uh, the tigers do like to swim a lot on this side, which is just really cool. The only thing we still need is uh, support for the monorail. Now, I'm just I'm just uh, a noob when it comes to support. Like, you guys always made a lot... Is that one walking normal? No, that one is not walking normal. Ugh, it's so unfortunate. Um, uh, but you guys made like a lot of coaster supports too and stuff. You you guys know probably more of that. I don't know who made the the supports that I use in this specific area. Uh, I think um, these are also oh, Mike. Ones. Okay, Mike. Yeah, I, really I tweaked right. them a few times, but uh, they are mainly by Mikey. Also, I was thinking oh. to have like supports with like they would be on this side, but then have like both tracks supported, like an overhanging. But I was like, I have no idea how that would look realistically. So whatever I'm gonna do is probably going mm -hmm. to be super ugly. And I was like, no, no, let's just not do it. But I think it would be nice to have some kind of... Yeah, well, maybe just completely wood. That could be. Like, Rudy came up with the idea to, like, follow this uh, this track a bit. Like, like the edge of the habitat. Uh, but I don't know. They can climb wood, so it's gonna be a hard one. Oh, oh, yeah, it's, it's moonwalking. Yes. And now, now <laughs> then we have it all. <laughs> we have if it, oh, that's <laughs> beautiful. If wow. it wasn't about the monetization, I would say just put a Billie Jean in here or whatever. So, <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, we have it all. Oh, they can you. do it right. They can do it moonwalking. They can do it, do it uh, weird forward. Grocery shopping um, wise. <laughs> so you have to deal with that. But other than that, it does work. So that's just really cool. And now, the thing is, though, I mean, this is what tigers do, but maybe some smaller cats like jaguars are going to be less glitchy on it. Ah, uh, that could be. Could be a thing. Although I have seen some mm. flying jaguars testing, in my zoo. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like, yeah <fair>. But it's <laughs> also... You just it's see, also, like, just what is that flying around? Oh, wait, that's a jaguar. <laughs> 
<laughs> I'm deadly serious. It's going so fast. But you're like, what was that? Oh, what? <laughs> Wait, what? It's a Jaguar. <laughs> it's a bit like cars flying around in City Skylines. You ever had that? You see just oh, yeah. like one oh. random car of just course. flowing through <laughs> your whole whole oh, city. Yeah. I even got that with a bicycle and that was weird because it's so small. <laughs> oh really? <laughs> oh, yeah. oh that's it's super weird. I mean, I'm pretty sure that's from this movie about an alien or something. Might be, yeah. Ah, oh, it was an Easter egg. No, I got oh, it. Oh really? Okay. <laughs> yep. No, of course not. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. So yeah, this uh, this was one. basically the habitat. I'm not as good as you guys to create like half of zoos, uh, but hopefully <laughs> you guys still enjoy. I don't know what you mean. Really good I, habitat I really, though, like I really, seriously. Thank you. I think the highlight <laughs> is definitely the overpass, obviously. <laughs> like. And I think it's fair. Yeah. It's fair. That's cool it's, thing. it's that what is all focused on. Yeah, but as you said, you wanted to do this, and this is what what this whole area is focused on. And I also like that you didn't overdo the rest because then you would steal the show. Yeah. And I think this is yeah. really cool that you have this as the overpath. And honestly, we have a lot of really designed and nice habitats that have a lot of things to look at. And I really like that we do have this more, let's say, simple habitat that embeds a bit better into the environment. So it almost I mean, looks it fits like, really well into yeah. the layout of the, the zoo, I get the I idea. really wanted exactly. to. Like, normally all my zoos that I have are, like, basically just flat. And uh, mm -hmm. I really was, like, looking for an area where I could use, like, a bit of advantage of already the terrain forming that Mike did. Uh, so, yeah, I really thought, like, this would be the, the nicest yeah, area I... with, like, the path already being here. Mm-hmm. I really like also that you use basically my elevation I, I created because when when I you, you know I just basically stopped after the tortoise like I was like okay so we we go further from here on but I didn't know what to do so my my little block of of, of solid soil ended here yeah so I really like how you <laughs> took it forward um, and still maintain some kind of idea of the valley because we still have that valley that leads uh -huh. to the education center and so you still maintain the idea so who knows what Mike's gonna do with the valley at but yeah know, still but it's still there it's not gone and i like the idea as Sylph said it's almost like someone came here and was like okay um how do we utilize that area to create a, a habitat and not destroy the path in uh -huh. going up into mm -hmm. that area and so like hey let's take both sides of the bridge and create like this overpass yeah so. exactly and basically obviously it's like a combination of an overpass for the guests and an overpass for the animals just as which is cool, detail. yeah, it's like yeah. an up and down, yep. yeah, that's cool. And, uh, yeah, so so Mike, I think Mike probably already has a plan how he wants water. Maybe we have another bridge right over here somewhere. And then it comes from that side, probably, from the back of the giant penna. We actually talked about maybe having the, the, the water go over the path. So, like, having, like, this, this uh, man-made... Um, waterfall over over the pathway you know yeah like if you go through a little mm. tunnel that could also look sick with the new glass pieces maybe just using as uh, so I, I think that could be uh, kind of cool i think so yeah but definitely. yeah it's filling up yeah it's filling up even more very mm. nice so yeah yeah how much space do we have left now could you like zoom out for a second so we get best. like a complete idea Three. it's yeah, there's very little real open space left anymore at this point. Yeah, we still have like a pretty yeah, talk to me. proper habitat right over here for whatever. And then probably I've some heard, more uh, nature. Mike wants to build a garden there. Oh, oh really? <laughs> <laughs> no, I hope not here. <laughs> <laughs> no, not And here there. is the uh, elephant. Sumatra. Hmm? I think. So there are like yep. some signs here. Mike put down a lot of signs where he wants like <laughs> some things to be filled. And then we have this more empty area. Or maybe that's also for the elephants. I'm not really sure. We still have the glass houses to your um, your reptile house. The whole reptile oh, area. Oh yeah, he time. wanted to do something with the glass houses. That's right. Oh, it's still not yeah, finished. <laughs> that's, you know, this is, uh, I think this is the most open area we still Wait, have. Wait, there's a canal. That, yeah. This one is that yeah, canal there. And that too. That's not oh, your canal, uh, right? Was it? No, that's been there for is a while. Is that your canal, it's, it, Or is it moved? It's, it's basically the river, but then canalized. Oh. Canalized? Canalized. canalized? <laughs> channelized? Is it channelized then? No, I it's don't not. Know. Right. But yeah, there is, no. like, I think it's fair enough to say that it's, it's going to be many 
filling up areas from now on. We still yeah. have the highlands. We still have the oh, back yeah, of the Oh yeah, that's right. There's going to be a little bit more right over here, right? Because we do have the. It's not an issue, but we have to. We have to look at the fact that we started to embed the monorail. So the monorail oh, is not. Oh, but the monorail. Our... I. I. The more I see it, the more I'm like, oh my god, that's such an awesome ride. And especially what it you is. did in the last, in your last episode with like this. Uh, fountain-ish area. I was like so much enjoying seeing those cars oh. here going by. It was super yeah, awesome. Yeah, I just wanna, I wanna, I wanna thank all the people for last week's comments because, despite uh, some some other um, also like always like it's always good to have some different opinions on that. But what I loved is the major like the the, the majority of people were like ah you know we didn't really really feel the monorail at the beginning but they said the same as you said oh, they really? were like but now but now i really see it and now it totally make totally makes sense so props to you guys if you planned this from the beginning and well it's, it's really i think it's cool really mike hear. mike's idea was it right yeah and also yeah. with mm -hmm. like just because it's like so big with so many elevations it's like the area where you're just like okay i need i need some rest now let's go and go onto the mm -hmm. monorail and just enjoy the animals from there and just go I love up it. and down with the with the track like yep. you don't have to walk i also love <laughs> everywhere i also love the the i really love the challenge that this monorail gave us throughout the whole series because in fact it was there and you had to work with it and i know that at least i can speak for myself but i changed it always a little bit like i changed it for the lemur house i changed it in my last episode and i think it's fine you know that's how it yeah. is you need to somehow mm -hmm. change it a little bit sylph no well sylph didn't change it and i didn't it touch it either i tried to lower it but i was like no it's gonna be super wonky so i'm not going to yeah no that's right yeah but i i did use it because you were like yeah well that's probably a good area to like cut out of the habitat and potentially there could even be like a big habitat right over here too. Or just only a habitat with an animal that people can only see from the monorail instead of like looking at it from um, from a path. So it's like more a reason to go into the monorail for our guests. Oh yeah. So yeah. potentially, maybe yeah. maybe even the giant ant eater, we don't have it yet, right? Uh, mm, nope. Nope. I don't know if that may fit, but maybe maybe people have another suggestion. Just uh, let us know in the comment section down below. But uh, yeah, I think it's good to wrap it up. <laughs> I don't know. Oh yeah, okay. One more time. One more time. Ooh, good one. Yeah. Oh, that's, that's a good one. Yeah. <laughs> that's a perfect wrap up for the episode. Oh, awesome. That's amazing. As if it knew it. <laughs> Well, thank you guys so much for being here and uh, dragging me through the episode. You guys are awesome. <laughs> yeah, no Wait, problem. who who did drag who? <laughs> yeah. You dragged you drag me. <laughs> so uh, I will uh, link the overpass, uh, uh, the workshop item in the description down below. It's doing it again. It's working properly. Oh, I'm so happy. <laughs> Look at that. Just in one more time. That's so oh, cool. Good. <laughs> and uh well thank you everyone for watching of course don't forget to leave a like at the video if you guys enjoyed and subscribe of course if you haven't already and uh we hope to see you guys next week on mike sheets his channel yep. awesome bye guys goodbye bye everybody